YouTube friends, I am here with my Twitch friends and we are on episode 8 of the Dawn Trail MSQ journey. Last episode we went to, uh, well we are in Yachtel, which happens to be where Bukul Jaja is from. We're doing the next um, trial for the Keystone, which is fighting a magical clone, a mimic of um, Galul Jaja which is Wuklamat's uh, dad. Uh, we saw Zoralja actually fight him and lose, so now he's disqualified. Um, and we also got to learn about um, Bakul Jaja's history and the history of their people, which actually is quite sad. And we have a better understanding of why he has been doing the things he's been doing, the desperation, all of the really crappy things that he's done, including uh, try to kidnap or successfully kidnap and steal a keystone from Luc Lamont. Um, so yeah, now we're, are we friends? Maybe we're friends now. We also had a really epic duel against him, which uh, caused him to go a little crazy. He's also, I believe, exiled from, from his home due to his father finding out that he lost against Luc Lamont. Anyways, that's the recap. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you go back into the playlist and catch up on the episodes, or you can watch this one. Uh, we're about to do, um, I think, a pretty lengthy challenge against the mimic that I spoke of. Um, but yeah, let's let's do it. Let's go. We're cool with but cool, maybe, maybe a little. I still I still think he should have been disqualified because he literally released. He, he kidnapped someone, he released Valley Garmanda, <laughs> and among all these other terrible things, I don't think he should be uh, in the running, but I do feel for him. I do sympathize for his desperation, and I can understand why he's done the things that he's done, but he still, he still needs to uh, answer for his, uh, his actions. Yeah, he stole, he stole our Starburst. Someone has gone to fetch Zerilja. He should be here soon. Upon proceeding, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Oh my god, don't forget your tacos. Yes, we need our tacos. <laughs> Alright, chat. Get comfy. Get comfy uh, for the several cutscenes that are going to play. Get your snacks and your drinks. Zerelja, I'm ready for the final feat. <laughs> oh, this is the final one? Grown weary of postponing the inevitable, have you? Something like that. You see, I've learned all sorts of things about Mamuk and your people. I'll put my Bluetooth earbud in later. Me? I forgot I took it off. I now understand why I need to surpass blessed siblings. Sorry if the sound just got all messed up. Because I apologize. Because producing superior offspring oh, no. is destroying your people's soul. Ah! So I'll defeat my father's shade and prove to you that there's a better path for Mamuk. Okay, hold on. I gotta fix this. My bad, my bad. My is messing up. All right, my apologies. What drivel! Without the blessed, we are nothing but weaklings! Dude, to fade into obscurity. Of course you are weak. We all are. Each and every one of us. But when we join hands, we gain the strength to overcome any foe. Even Vali Yarmanda. Yeah. True. Enough talk. Prove your metal. Against Gulul Jaja. 
the finest warrior ever to have grace to rule. Fine by me? Not even Papa's shade will stop me from upholding his legacy. I will fight alongside her. Oh snap! Best bro is back? My god, how can you not love him? <laughs> I love how Thancred's like, hello. Hey. Claimants are not permitted to assist one another. Second promise. But you may observe your sister's pitiable attempt. I see. In that case. Husbando, husbando. Oh, he threw it. What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> it seems I'm no longer a claimant. I am now free to participate, I trust. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that so hot? Kawana, please, chill. What are you scheming? Kawana! Nothing. <laughs> I've simply come to realize who is worthy of following in father's footsteps. Oh my god, he's like straight up just folding. Not our brother. Not Bakul Jaja. And not me. You have always held the happiness of our people closest to your heart, <laughs> He's like older brother goals. So I will do everything in my power to ensure you This is like the, the older brother that I would wish to, like, have. Like, if this I wasn't an, an only child. For his kindness. What a, what a good brother. I love always him. Always count on you, Kona. Thank you. I love him so much. <laughs> I still it think he deserves the throne. Numbers matter not in the face of true might. Gulul Jaja, mightiest of the blessed. Arise! All right, here we go. Everyone ready? Like, I genuinely think everything that Kawana has done makes him the most, like, eligible to be Dawn's servant. I think what he is doing is precisely what a leader should be doing. No hard feelings, Papa. I've got a lot of hopes riding on my shoulders. And the only way forward is through you. Yeah, he's just the most qualified. Qualified, eligible, I don't I don't know. Just he is He is ready to be a leader. He should be a leader. Charge! Here you go, Kawana. Here's a here's a special buff for you. There you go. You deserve that. I, I burned three cards just to give you that buff. Kawana, don't get hit! Don't grief me. I'm griefing myself. Blades of fire rain. Oh wait, I don't think I should be here. Okay, you know what? I'm actually fine. I'm okay. Yeah. What why are we all going this way? Oh, okay. I must have misunderstood. Cryo! Cryo, no! My precious Pictomancer! Right, who do I give this buff to? Oh, I 
always got baited. Oh! <laughs> I should have followed Urian J. Urian J, don't grief me. I'm just gonna give myself the buffs, just for simplicity's sake. Since there's no party list. Go forth. I wonder if I even have to heal. Like, I wonder if I could just How malefic the entire time. Probably could. Some manner of paralyzing effect. Defend the afflicted. You want me to defend them? What do you? I'm trying. Can you guys not stand in the? You're you're all ranged. What are you doing? You're you're literally all ranged. <laughs> not enough. But together we shall triumph. Oh my God. Good job, good job. I'm just gonna use everything, because I can. Here you go, Thancred. Here's a, here's a nice buff for you. Oh my god, Uriangé popping neutral sect? He's prepared? trying to understand this move. I don't know why it kind of confuses me. Thancred, did you just get hit by that? I can't see, I'm blinded. Completely blinded. Surely this will quench your thirst for battle. Ah! Hey, I was gonna horoscope! You just totally cancelled my horoscope. You just made me waste a cooldown? That was my cooldown, it's gone? Forever? Right for me. Damn, look at those pixels. Everyone get behind me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Will you have the strength to stand up to this? I have a bubble. Here's my bubble. Ouch. Kind of 
hurt me a little bit. Everyone else seemed to be fine, though. Privilege. That's my old man for you. Angie, smash. I refuse. To accept this! Ain't that a bit stubborn? Even for you. Who that? Oh, snap! What the? What the? It couldn't be... Tankwa! It's been too long! It has indeed. You are looking more imposing since last I saw you, Wuklamat. Tonkwa? My Turali moniker. Galul Jaja insisted I take one, saying my birth name was too cumbersome for the local tongues. That birth name being Ketanram, I presume? Oh, snap! No one, no one said Ketanram was a Chad. No! Ketanram's that legendary Eorzean sailor. The one with the pickled cabbage. The pickled what? <laughs> we can talk about me cabbage later. His pickled what? Oh, that makes me think of kimchi. Zarelja, whether you like it or no, these young'uns accomplished the feat. To deny Wuklamat her reward would be to betray the Dawn Servant's trust. I want kimchi now. And what should she be rewarded for? Calling upon her minions to carry her to victory! We're not minions. We're Wuklamot's friends, and no, we're gonna say you're the Otark of Mook. Show some dignity. Show some freaking dignity. I don't have dignity. Not anymore. I wagered everything on this feat. And by the same token, I understand the enormity of your accomplishment. Together, we can achieve anything. You needn't place your faith in the promise of blessed siblings. How would you have us reclaim our glory? With friendship and community. With us. Yeah. Friendship. Peace. If you mean to rule, you should be more sparing with your offers of clemency. Especially to a man who has sacrificed countless young lives. Nevertheless, I will fulfill my charge as Elector. In recognition of your feet, I bestow upon you a keystone.
Yay, Starburst. More Starburst. Congratulations. That one's blue We're raspberry. In order, I suppose. I'm confident that you will find the Golden City in no time. You've grown much and more during this journey. Become someone ready to lead our nation. Little Lamachi no longer. As your brother, I couldn't be more proud. <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> He's the best. Oh my god. Luna. Thank you. Brother goals. My next life. <laughs> I hope I hope for an older brother in my next life. I must express my gratitude for your cooperation. And my regret for failing to live up to expectations. Nonsense. If you believe Wook Lamart is the woman for the job, then you have our wholehearted support. One last thing. I wish to speak to you both from the heart. Unpracticed as I am. This may sound hackneyed, but... I am truly grateful to have met you. Best character. <laughs> Literally the best character. Words spoken with such feeling would resonate with any fortunate enough to hear them. Though our journey together hath ended, ever shall we cherish the memories. Aye. And should you require further esoteric musings or biting witticisms, don't hesitate to call. I dare say we'll come flocking. <laughs> but I get ahead of myself. As I recall, our contract remains in effect until we've escorted the Second Promise back to the capital. I leave my sister in your capable hands. See that she returns home safely. You've still moms to go yet, Wuklama. The right ain't over till you find the city of gold. His I voice know. is so nice. But if I can come this far, I can go all the way. What a what a nice voice. Also, we'll see you later, Ryan. And hello to anyone that stepped in. Hi, Tentalus, and welcome back, Luna. Sorry, we're very focused on um, cutscenes and dialogue, so hi, hi, if you've just stepped in. Hope you guys are all doing well. I thought it was Friday today, <laughs> but happy Thursday. We're almost, almost at Friday. I woke up today thinking it was Friday, probably because I'm not used to taking Wednesdays off, but my my throat was extremely sore. Friday Junior, yeah, close enough. We're almost there. Let's go and tell the people of our victory. Uh oh. Oh wait, no. Third promise. These are they're nice. They're nice to us now. You brought everyone? We were just coming to you. We did it, Milielja. We proved to the Otark that not even my father's full power could overcome the strength of our fellowship. I knew you would. I was right to trust you. You fulfilled your promise. Now it's our turn. You've shown us another way that we can build the lives as or we can build the lives we've always wanted here in our homeland without sacrifice. 
Since our new crops will come from across the salt, I suppose we will have to treat with outsiders as equals, of course. Inside or outside, we're all just people, no matter what we look like or where we're born. When you're not used to all the color and variety, differences can feel like obstacles. But by learning more about what makes us different, we can also find common ground in places we never expected. Something new may become something you love, and someone you once hated might one day become your friend. You'll never know unless you keep an open mind. And while it may feel scary, taking that first step towards understanding is always worth it. Of course, learning about outsiders may well help Mamook grow. But what happens when they learn about us and what we've done? They will not. For generations, our covenant has been kept secret, and so shall it remain. The atrocities committed here were facilitated by the Otarks. We and no one else are responsible. For my deeds, I am prepared to forfeit my life, but I will not suffer others to be damned alongside me. No one's being damned, and your life isn't forfeit. The last thing this city needs is more death. The cool Jaja hasn't fought this hard for this long only to lose his father. Aww. If you truly feel responsible, be the first person to extend understanding to others on behalf of Mamook. Your community is waiting for you, here and in Tuliolal. We can still make things right, my love. Choose a different side of history. <laughs> nod. <laughs> just, just nod. Thank you, Third Promise. Thank you for everything. You still owe me an explanation about that cabbage, you know. Kimchi? The people have, of Mamook have accepted you. Merchants and menders are now available for use. Oh my gosh. How exciting. All right, I owe you guys three subs. Because swear jar has been over for a couple minutes now, so three swears. You guys can uh, you guys can thank uh, Resoul. You can thank stuff for that. Tiny one has received a sub for me. Enjoy the emotes, by the way. Speaking of exciting, 82 hours and is to finish until dawn. Oh my god! Wait, how far am I in until dawn? Anyways. I feel like all the crazy, all the crazy stuff is happening now in the, uh, in the game. Like, it's really starting to, to get interesting. To answer is a spoiler, maybe? Okay. Can we say... Are we like, I wanna say we're halfway. I wanna say we're halfway through Until Dawn. Just based off of like the, the way that the chapters are. That's my guess. Um, you don't have to confirm or deny, but yeah. Have I gotten really scared yet? Like jump out of your chair and run out of the room scared? Um, honestly, the alerts have been really well-timed. Uh, Mo has timed a couple of really good ones. So, 
Yes, the alerts are the are the things that are freaking me out, to be honest. Um, there have been there have been some like little things in the game though, uh, that have caught me off guard. So, yeah, there are some like cheap jump scares in the game. All right, let us let us continue now. This ain't no place for a proper chat. Me cabin's just north of the city. Blue eyes abode, as people here call it on account of me dazzling twinklers. Blue eyes abode. Wow. Why does Ketan Ram sound like like a like a an F boy? Why do I feel like he's like a Casanova? Like just swooning, making all the women swoon for him. Something, something about him. Blue eyes abode. Like imagine, imagine him on a date and telling the girl that. Yeah, let's go back to uh, my place. It's called Blue Eyes Abode. Hi, the gaming. Just stop by for the first time in a while, and I already love your personality. Oh, thank you. I'm very, I'm very glad. He got Riz. He do. He do. Uh, he do have Riz. This Ketan Ram. Why did you choose to settle down in Mamook? They haven't exactly been welcoming to outsiders, legendary explorer or otherwise, because this place is really beautiful. All the more reason to keep a weather eye on him. Though seeing how you've won them over, methinks I'll have less need for vigilance. I'm here at Galul Jaja's behest to ensure his hard-won peace is kept, and incidentally to remind Zerilja of his duty as a lector should he have forgotten it. My old man ordered you to stay here? That's no way to treat an honored guest. <laughs> I'd say I'd more I'm more than your father's guest by now. Or didn't you see this sepulcher of top workers or more? That's right. Ketanram was one of the names. Your father and I saw or your father and I fought shoulder to shoulder in many a battle, Valley Garmanda being but one of our triumphs. He and I are brothers. So when your brother tells you to stand watch, you stand watch. You trust in his judgment and his strength of will. Even if that means you have to sit down in the occasional scrap, or sit sit out the occasional scrap. Surely you understand such a bond, surrounded as ye but by all Surrounded as ye are by all these bright and eager faces. It's not cow- I don't naturally speak that way. It's a little hard to read out loud. I do. My comrades are my strength, and it's thanks to them that I understand Papa's hopes for this nation, what I must continue to protect. Then prove your readiness for the throne, Wuklamat. Find the Golden City. Oh, I will. With these ones beside me, even uncovering a legend should be child's play. Especially since I believe I already have. Hmm? All by yourself? How? When? Cryle? Well, as you know, electors are forbidden from giving unfair advantage to claimants. So when Hunmu, when Hunmu Rook Refused to divulge why my grandfather passed through Ikbrox, Ikbrox 20 years ago. His silence spoke volumes. Ikbrox. You think Galuf's visit had something to do with the Golden City? Precisely. Moreover, only the Yokoi who lived in Yoktel ever dreamt those golden dreams. When exposed to certain triggers, those with magical aptitude have been known to receive visions. And if Gerfler's abilities are, all are at all representative, the Yokoi are no stranger to the Arcane, which means the dreamers of Eld likely owe their experiences to their inherent qualities and their proximity to the city itself, here in these forests. Then all we need to do is search Yachtel from top to bottom, right? 
It would behoove us to try and narrow our focus. To that end, I propose we return to Mamook and make inquiries. While there, we can all take the opportunity to see to any necessary travel preparations. When everyone is ready, let us assemble to our at the Aetherite. Your... how do you say this? Your... Ka... Kachiwa? Kachiwa... Kakiwa? Kakiwa? Kachiwa? Kakiwa. You're Kakiwa's boy, ain't she? Thank you for the help. She told me about you. She said she tasked you with finding the Golden City. I, I might even succeed, despite my best efforts. I'd begun to think it was a fool's errand. My own fruitless search in my youth proved as much. Yet here you are, older and wiser, playing the fool again. Courtesy of the company I've been keeping, perhaps, Wuklamat's not the only one to have grown, thanks to her comrades. We'll find it together. Yeah, you tell him. Huh, <laughs> was I ever that young? Damn, his hair. Why is he so gorgeous? <laughs> he is actually so incredibly gorgeous. <laughs> Want his hair IRL? He could definitely do it. Yeah, sheesh. I want to see him in his uh, his younger days. He must have been even even better, or maybe maybe he's just always been super super duper handsome. Maybe he's aged like fine wine instead. We don't know. I want to see the young version. You waited for me. It seems Ketanrem knows my mentor, so we chatted for a bit longer. Alphanode said to meet by the Aetherite, so I'll see you there. I'm swooning. <laughs> I am definitely swooning for Koana. Koana is husbando, but also like big brother goal. Merchants were more than happy to mend my gear and sell me supplies. One would hardly believe that they were ever averse to aiding visitors. Hey, you won't believe how many Najul they gave me. Now all we need is a hint to point us in the right direction. City of Gold, here we come. I think I can offer that much. an inkling of where the Golden City might be. Uh, Malilja and, and Zerilja, you've come to help us? <laughs> no. As an elector, I am forbidden from speaking of the Golden City, but my wife is beholden to no such constraints. Then anything you can tell us would be greatly appreciated. Our people have lived here for centuries. There is no corner of this forest we do not intimately know, save for one. Do you recall the place I showed you, where my son confessed the truth of blessed siblings? That stone pier stands at the entrance of sky or of the sky deep cenote, the final resting place for children we lost to our zealotry. 
Precious few are permitted beyond the cenotaph doors, and we have not explored its deepest recesses. If the Golden City is in Yachtel, it may well be hidden there. Will you permit us to search for it? I have no reason to refuse you. No longer will we rely on blessed siblings, nor will we conceal the sacrifices made to conceive them. The cenote is no longer under our protection. It is a, dismiss or a dismal burial ground, and our children deserve better. Their bodies will be moved to a place of comfort and peace. I'm sure Bakul Jaja would appreciate that, and we're here to offer any help if you need it. Your father also visited the cenote, come to think of it. It was many years ago by now, but a notable affair due to the foreigner he brought with him. A mage, I believe. Sounds like Kryle's grandfather. Truly? The Dawn Servant did not disclose his reasons, but he descended past our cenotaph and into the old Yokoi's quarries. Doubtless the very same ones excavated by Vorpalor's dreamers. And the Golden City must be there. In the depths of the sky deep cenote. Thank you, both of you. We'll set out straight away. You will find a winged beast or two lingering in Gokdrak descent. They will carry you below. I believe in you, Third Promise. You will make a magnificent Dawn Servant. Bye-bye. I still think Koana should be Dawn Servant, but that's just me. <laughs> this is it, everyone. To the Sky Deep Cenote. I'm sworn to Wuklamot. I really am, but like, I just, I don't know. I have this thing, like, I swear to God. You know, there's like a main character in every expansion, right? There's like, there's that myth, the one person that we're like besties with during the expansion. But I always find myself preferring one of the side characters um, or like the not like the main, main character of the expansion. Like Stormblood, for instance. I, I much preferred um, Yatsuyu. Like, I think she just had better writing. Like, I I did not care for Lise. I did not care for uh, Hien. I didn't care for any of them. But Yatsuyu? Oh my god. She was so phenomenally written. She had such good development. Like, it was it was incredible. All right, we have quite a ways to go. And like Lise, I think Lise was a bit of a, a very like missed opportunity. I don't know why they wrote her the way that they did. I actually am still thinking that Kawana is Lise 2.0 and like how they should have developed Lise. Um, they, uh, I don't know, they really screwed Lise over. There's so much about her that could have made her character interesting and her development through Stormblood really, really interesting. And like, you could have been a lot more invested in her as a character and like her becoming, um, you know, taking this leadership role. But she was so bland. And then meanwhile, Yatsuyu had like the most incredible, like, um, just development throughout the entire expansion. Yeah, Lise just doesn't, she doesn't even appear anymore. Like, it's like they forgot about her, her existence. She just doesn't matter. It's like they, it's like they're ashamed. Question of the reflections, the original 13 games that came out before Final Fantasy 14. Um, chat, can you answer this? I wouldn't say that it, that it is, but that that's interesting. I don't think so. Like, there's definitely been references. Like, this, um... Like, uh... This expansion is referencing a lot of Six. 
Uh, last expansion was referencing a lot of Final Fantasy IV, so they do make um, like references to other Final Fantasies. There's obviously been like crossovers as well, like crossover with Final Fantasy XIII and XV and XVI, and like lots of different references again. Um, there's probably been more crossovers. Those are just the ones that I can think of off the top of my head. But uh, the other Final Fantasies do make some sort of like appearance uh, one way or another. Oh wait, I was supposed to ride the... Wait, was I supposed to go... Am I supposed to go here? I think I am. All main characters in this expansion are Final Fantasy XI enemy monsters. Oh, okay. I didn't play XI, so I don't I don't get the references, but that's super cool. I don't know if I have a favorite character in this expansion. I just overall enjoyed it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, for me, Koana is the one that stands out the most. All right, let's ride. Ride this chimera thing. I don't know what it is. What animals is this thing made of? Some kind of deer, perhaps? <laughs> a deer, a bird, a, a lizard, a, a peacock, I don't know. A hippogriff, some variation of a hippogriff, yeah. All right, so this is a very, a very dark and sad place. This is the cenotaph, which means that beyond these doors is... Right of succession or no, disturbing the souls that rest here feels wrong. I know, but I can't turn back. Let's pay our respects at the very least. Let's go. I'm ready to complete my journey. Ooh, is this a dungeon? Tis a dungeon indeed. Time for a trust dungeon. Let's go. All right, who's entering the party? I am healer. All right, I like it. All right, one shot. Let's go. We're not gonna die to a boss like two times. Not not this time. Mm mm. No siree. I like the music. Very nice music in here. Yeah, the the flashback Bakul Jaja had. I was wondering, I'm like, what what was that? So it's cool that we we get to see it now. Alright, let's do a let's do a big pull, Yukumat. Come on. We don't want no, we don't want no baby pulls. Get over here! 
Woo, Clement! I hope she uses a, a cooldown. That would be really great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just wait to see. Okay, she does. She uses one. Will she use another? No. I'm literally almost dead. Enjoy the emotes. Dinner's here. Okay, Ibase, we'll see you later. Enjoy your dinner. Dantra's content has been 10 out of 10 so far. Yeah, from what I've seen content-wise, this is like super good. I am... I'm very happy. Oh my god, I see a rampart. Oh my goodness. Good job. Using using our cooldowns. <laughs> Will you use a different cooldown or no? Oh, there we go. There's another cooldown. I'm impressed. Having sushi tonight, enjoy. Oh my god, is she gonna die? Oh <gasps> she died. They'll pay for that. Get up. Oh, that's so annoying. Girl, use your cooldowns. You're a warrior. You should not die. <laughs> Oh my god. Now I'll show you. It's this healer though. The scrub healer. Am I right? She's new. She's not new. She's been trained by her father. She has no excuse. She has been trained by Galul Jaja. Have you not seen that man? That beast? Okay, everyone is very, very much spaced out and I don't like that. You are cursed to be a nuisance to your party. That's that's me on a daily basis. What are you talking about? Story of my life. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my god, bubbles. Oh my god, near. Oh my god, it's near automata. Or just near in general. that that was gonna push me. Never mind. Just the bubbles. You are cursed to be a nuisance to your party yet again. I don't want to be a nuisance anymore. <laughs> no holding back. I am so not used to having, um, not used to having two charges <laughs> of light speed. It's so foreign to me. That makes no sense. Yay! First try, but I did almost die. What level am I? Do I care for the treasure coffer? Nah. Nah, we don't need it. <laughs> we're, uh... We're only, like, 10 item level under the, uh... The required item level, so... I don't, I don't really care for it. Thanks for the lurk, Sal. Healer strike. Is the healer strike still going on? Are we uh, are we still dealing with that? Or have people stopped being dramatic? Okay, Alize, why are you tanking? Literally all my cooldowns <laughs> on Wukomat. Oh my goodness. No cooldown spared to keep our favorite warrior alive. Didn't mean to pop Surecast, that was an accident. they design trust to follow on continuous pulls I'm I'm impressed that they even run to you <laughs> if you aggro something else I'll take that I suppose what I would like is uh, the tank to use more cooldowns that would be nice you know like use use your kit A 
as far as I know it is, but now people are saying the game is too hard. Wait, people are saying the game is too hard? Huh? What's going on now with the community? Why? <laughs> the community is never content. Oh, jeez. New raids and expert dungeons got hands. Ah, uh, I see. Casuals have to try. <laughs> I mean, some people are just not into that, you know? I'm very curious about the difficulty of uh, normals and extremes, though. I mean, extremes, I expect to have some challenge. To hear that normals are too difficult for people is a little surprising. Not that I have any complaints, I, I welcome that sort of challenge, I think that's fun, but not everybody shares that, uh, that same opinion. Some unfamiliar mechanics. Well, that's good. We gotta, we gotta freshen things up a bit. We can only stack and spread so many times, right? We gotta, gotta change it up a bit, or like add some new twists. Keep the game interesting. Dying for more challenging and different mech designs for a while to each their own. Yeah, I really enjoyed the difficulty of Stormblood content, so I think um, Dawn Trail is going to be reminiscent of that. That's my my guess. We shall see, though. I'm gonna get hit by that. Too bad. Too bad. pretty straightforward. Okay. 
gotta, I gotta understand that a bit. I do not understand that yet. Healer privilege, though. I can, I can make all the mistakes I want. Well, I mean, I can't collect any more bone stacks. That's not gonna be good. So he's bouncing off the mirrors and then those orbs do like obviously an AOE after so like why am I going the wrong way? Is it the last orb that he hits? I think my camera is just always the wrong way. I'm just not looking the right way. Opposite of what I think, yes. Merm, thanks for 43 months. Hope you're doing well. How's it going? Ooh, whoa, what's happening over here? That's cool. It's very interesting. Contrast. dungeon because it has a mirror vibe. You are speaking my language. Try this. Hi, Fire Squall. Also, I'm enjoying Dawn Trail so far. I like it. I don't really have any real complaints. It's been good. expecting to get launched, but this is interesting. Doing all the dungeons with uh, duty support or trust, but I have been doing. I did the first trial with um, just a random group, just to keep it uh, keep it spicy. I've never used the uh, the trust system, but it's fun. It's fun for MSQ. I can't say that I'll use it outside of MSQ. 
just for uh, efficiency's sake. But I appreciate that they have this. Yeah, this place is definitely giving like near vibes. Just the, the way that the enemies look and stuff. I'm also the type to like grasp at <laughs> any any possibility that something would be similar to near. You know, I, sometimes I reach, but. Get to appreciate the view. That's true. You get to you can slow down. You can look at everything and, and really uh, absorb your surroundings, which only helps immerse yourself more in uh, the MSQ. worry about <laughs> my DPS efficiency when I am with trust, but you're probably right. Sculptor of Silence. This is super cool. I recognize these mechanics. I know this fight. <laughs> Don't troll me, I see you. Oh, that's, those are some cool markers. Whoa, that's new. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. That's cool. Smash! Smash! Is that it? I didn't see the first one. Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> close. Playing with fire a little bit. Spicy, 
spicy amount of damage. Oh, you're very rude for that. <laughs> that was not nice. <laughs> I did not appreciate that. how Kyle did not get snapshot by that? You have got to be kidding me. She is, she is hacking. That is so disrespectful. I cannot believe you. This is why I'm rooting for your brother. I cannot believe you just did. Oh my god, you just trolled me so bad. Holy crap. Oh, why would you do this? Look what you. Oh my god. We'll just start from the beginning. Look, look, look what you've done. I messed up my cards, too. Unbelievable. Why would you do this to us, oh Clement? <laughs> I'm avoiding you now? I don't trust you. Do not, do not come near me. God, these trusts are, are such, such griefers, man. <laughs> I can't believe it. So it can be either or, interesting. just stepped in. I, I seriously can't believe that happened. Oh my god.
none of you getting hit by this. What are, what are these snapshots? Why don't these snapshots uh, work like that for me? Y'all are 100% cheating. Like, I'm barely gonna make that. again? <laughs> Please? I'm quite tempted to just, uh... Just stay away. <laughs> We go. <laughs> Just gonna gonna be on this side, guys. Don't mind me. I mean, what they do is they fan out and let you stay in the middle. But I'm so used to, um, or stay on the like the corner. But I'm so used to as a healer, like running away. So I wasn't prepared for a, a melee to run away. I was like, I'm always giving them the opportunity to uh, to stay still because I'm just a, I'm just that nice of a healer. Boo, we didn't get anything good. But this is, this is beautiful. This is so nice. I love the colors. I love the water. This is so cool. All right, let's see what, what happens. Let's see where we're at. Cube. Suspicious cubes. I thought this place was of Yokui origin. But is this glowing stone their creation as well? I don't believe so. I've never seen anything like it. Then it's from an even older time. This looks futuristic if anything don't tell me it's the allegans again while careful study would be required to confirm it does not appear to be reminiscent of their designs Golden City. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was very bright. <laughs> Just from like the dark into like the full screen of bright gold. I wasn't expecting that. There's something that. on the other side. But how did you Oh, my there? back. My back is killing me. Ooh, that's cool. Excuse me. That's how, apparently. Right then. Let's go and take a look.
eyeball. Oh, it's a portal. Looks like an eyeball to me. That seal. That's Charlie and then no mistake. Excuse me. Oh my god, the yawning. I was gonna say I need coffee, but I probably shouldn't drink coffee for my throat. How do we open it? Come and look at this. Your tablets might be a good fit, wouldn't you say? Ooh. Putting the, the tablets in? Ones with the keystones? Ooh, pretty rainbow. That was pretty. Okay, it's a eyeball portal barrier. <laughs> I keep adding on to it. Leave it to Alfie now. Good job, Alfie. You did you did something good for once. Pour more tea, don't mind me. ASMR. <laughs> Sorry. I love the music. It's so nice. Is this it? Is it Golden City? Though there is some resemblance, it doesn't quite live up to what the Yokui described from their dreams. Maybe it's a puzzle. <laughs> well done. Well done indeed. Is he here? Papa? Daddy Jaja? to the city of gold and triumphed in the reign of secession. Yay! We win! Wait, where, what happened to... Zeralja? So we haven't seen it. him. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm a little worried that we haven't seen him. We made it to the end! I don't know. I'm a little. I'm a little worried. You seem more perplexed than joyous. She's sus. It's She's just, sus. This place is unlike anything we've seen in Tural. Never mind the peculiar stone. So I am given to wonder, what exactly lies beyond that gate? Nothing less than the Golden City of Legend, I assure you. The circumstance prevents us from opening the gate. As to what the city is and what Gall of Maldesium discovered all those years ago, This knowledge and more, I will share with you after your ascension. 
What you choose to do with it will be up to you. The Golden City is real. It took a while, but I finally found it. Erinville is too beautiful, it's not fair. <laughs> Come, let us return to Duliola. Home at last. Oh my god, but I'm so curious. We just... We just got to the door, the gate. That's it. What? Well, we've done it. We've seen Wuklamat to victory in the Rite of Succession. Like me, I expect you have no few questions about the Golden City, but they must wait until our claimant has settled into her new role. Even as we speak, she prepares for the Ascension Ceremony back at the palace. I'm given to understand it will be held in a few days' time. In the meantime, let us all enjoy some well-deserved rest. It's vacation time! Oh my god, the vacation part of the expansion has begun, right? Totally. Nothing's gonna happen. And we are level 96. All right, let's see what's next. Hello, Moxel, thank you. Oh, oh, upon speaking with Pashekwa, several cutscenes will play in sequence. All right, let's get comfortable. Everyone just uh, stretch, get your, get your snacks. Oh my God, my body is just absolutely broken. I cannot, oh my God, <sighs> my back. <laughs> what do I do about my back? <laughs> All right. Have we have we set sufficient time? Yes, we're we're good. We're ready to go. Let's do this. Welcome back, and may I congratulate you on Wuklamat's victory in the Rite of Succession. It is our great honor to host the comrades of our future Dawn servant. Such a grand journey has doubtless left you fatigued. Please relax and enjoy your stay. Excuse me. Oh, hello. A welcome guest. <laughs> Surprised to see me? I suppose it's only natural. May I come in? Yes. Yes, you may. Nothing will ever beat the late night uh, Estinian visit, though. <laughs> that was a scene. I haven't properly thanked you. That my sister was able to realize her potential is a testament to the quality of her traveling companions, particularly you. For that, you have my heartfelt gratitude. Hmm, I only did as you might have in my positions. True, I think he would have done the same. He actually kind of did do the same things. He was very helpful. My primary business and calling is to deliver a message from Lama T. As you well know, after the Ascension Ceremony, she will officially take up the mantle of Dawn Servant. She has expressed a desire for you to accept a post within her administration. While making no mention of me. What? What do you mean? What do you... No, no, she, she has to have a plan for you. She wouldn't. She definitely has a plan for Koana. He's far too valuable to just... No. 
You needn't to decide immediately. My sister will broach the matter with you again after the ceremony. Whether you continue to assist Lamati or not is up to you. That is all, if you'll excuse me. What? No, she... She certainly has a plan for Kawana. I'll be very surprised. I'll, I'll be disappointed in her if she doesn't. <laughs> you have become someone irreplaceable to her. As her brother, I acknowledge that with no little jealousy. <laughs> but believe me when I say that I hope you will stay by her side. <laughs> yeah, Wook Lamont has betrayed her brother, just like how she betrayed me with that, uh, that spread marker. That last second betrayal. And thus it arrived. The day of the Dawn Servant Ascension Ceremony. Ooh, look at all the people. So much color. What a crowd! As befits the changing of dawn servants. Yeah, this is pretty huge. It's starting. Everyone clap. Everyone cheer. Yeah! Woohoo! Oh my god! The Dawn Servant! Look, the Dawn Servant! Here. Daddy Jaja! The Head of Reason is resting again. Thought he'd grace us for this occasion at least. People of Tuliolal, you honor us with your presence. For on this auspicious day, we witness the tasking of one era and the dawning of the next, the succession of dawn servants. <laughs> but I've talked for long enough. Allow me to present you said the like... <laughs> whose determination, wisdom, and compassion guided them to triumph and the city of gold. He said like two sentences. And he's like, alright, I've I've said enough. My daughter, Wook Lamat. Yay! I still think Kawana should have been Dawn Servant, but yay! Wook Lamat. <laughs> Woohoo! Huzzah! 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 Long live the Dawn Servant! Long live Tuli Yolal! Where is Kawana? Growing up in this city, I used to think I knew all there was to know about Tulejolal. But my journey showed me how much I had yet to learn about the cultures, histories, and aspirations of this nation. Through the time-honored Ichana, the Hanuhanu taught me how they nourish and cultivate both the land and their bonds with visitors. And with their alpacas and trade craft, the Pelu Pelu showed me the depths of their patience and fortitude to know when to push through and when not to push your luck. From the moblins and their artisans, I gained insight oh my God, it's, into it's the power of creativity. 
I felt joy and harmony in Yaktel when I tasted Shebruk Bibil, the dish that marked the beginning of peace between the Shebral and Mamuja after yeah, centuries you, of you warfare. You also met your biological father, but whatever, I guess. It's not a big and deal. <clears throat> I felt sorrow in Mamuk when I met with those who placed their faith in the promise of blessed Whatevs. siblings <laughs> and for this were burdened with great suffering. Through the understanding we forged, I am hopeful that they will find what they seek through friendship and community. For we are all Turali. Understanding with Mamuk? What sorcery did she use on them? All of which is to say that, as I've come to know our nation, I've seen the ways in which we thrive, and the ways in which we still struggle. Some in Kozamauka must resort to banditry to survive. A faction of Yokhui still cling to dreams of conquest. Not everyone lives in peace and plenty. And there's still so much of Tuli Hyolol I don't know. Places I haven't seen, and people I haven't met. That's why I hope to keep learning about and from you. That we might build a nation where everyone knows happiness. Because if there's one thing my journey has taught me, it's that your happiness is my happiness! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Everyone was really into that. Yeah! I say mine, but the Dawn Servant doesn't need to be a single person, does it? <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. I called it. I called it. I called it. Oh dear. I called What's it. She doing? Oh my god. She's doing it. Yeah. Oh my god, you're going to break your legs. What are you doing? <gasps> Holy okay. I literally thought to myself, I'm like, what my if she jumped off? Led Tuli Hyola to prosperity by the <laughs> resolve my, and reason. In the of back of my head, when heads. I saw her walking, I'm like, what if she just jumps? But, but she actually did. Can only get us so far. To further change our nation for the better, I'll need someone else. <laughs> what if she's like the first promise? Someone with the knowledge and insight that I. What if have. she's like Zeraj? <laughs> Where is so what he? Do you say? Be done serving with me, Kona. Oh my god, Zeraldo's gonna be mad. He's gonna fight. <laughs> yes! Say yes! This is what I wanted from the start. I wanted them to work together. Mamachi, are you certain? <laughs> the chills? Absolutely. You take reason, and I take resolve. Together, we make a full dawn servant. Yes! I love this. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even consider like the two you heads. You have no objections from me, of course. Oh my god, thanks daddy. He's the best. But mine is not the approval you need. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Where is he? He's going to be mad. Abroad, I experienced the benefits of foreign technologies. Some of which I introduced to our nation. Dirigibles now soar the sky in the south, while locomotives traverse the land in the north. I'm expecting a fight, like a big fight. Like he's gonna, he's gonna be really, really mad. I was convinced that by imitating foreign powers, we could assert our strength and thereby deter invasion. Yet despite my intentions, I failed to understand what I was too eager to cast aside and the very people I wish to protect. My own journey has taught me that culture isn't a hindrance to progress, but a shared value that binds us, connecting lives and generations. With your blessing, I vow to help Tuli Yolal prosper in a way that honors the hopes and heritage of all her peoples. My esteemed predecessor would accept nothing less. This is what I wanted the whole time. This is the best. Why does it keep Broken showing me. that Mikote? I harbor the same wish as my sister. To give you cause to smile. That is my heartfelt desire. They keep showing those two and I'm wondering why. Do they just like those characters? Do they think they're, like, good-looking? Or do they mean something? Yeah, why? Who are you? Who are you? Alright, incoming, incoming Zeralja. Just... angry. <laughs> Glad this didn't go to waste. Ooh. This is the lay of legacy. The part of the Tuli Hyola saga where you and I become the next Dawn servant. Good heavens! Don't tell me this is what kept you so busy ahead of the ceremony. Just so you know, I didn't decide this on a whim. After reflecting on all we've been through, I realized it was the only answer. Getting, getting so many chills With and goosebumps. This, both my brother and I have worthy successors. He would have been proud. Now, why does he say wood? I thought he was just sleepy. Hmm. Of course you knew. Did you lie? It's been three years since what? my brother left us. I thought he was just sleeping. I thought he was just napping. I didn't think that. It cannot be. The head of reason is no longer with us. Wait, why did you keep that oh, a secret? Tragic tidings. I didn't want to believe it. I'm That's sorry sad. I never told you. We wanted the people to rest easy until our successor could be chosen. Planning the right was my brother's final duty. He was determined 
for it has served the nation's best interests and labored nigh without cease. That's so that's so sad. And then he died, forcing me to do the actual work. A sneaky bastard. But he did well. I have to give him that. The outcome speaks for itself. <laughs> Excuse me. Though not quite to the original script, your new dawn servant rises. May they shine resplendent, and their rule bring light ever greater to Tuliolo. Yay! Yeah, I was just thinking that. Imagine having a sibling, let alone a twin, let alone being connected to that person, like sharing the same body. That's crazy. That would, that would be so gut-wrenching. I don't know. I don't know if that's how it would work like in real life, but still, that is very very sad. Wu Clamat was brilliant up there, wasn't she? The part with the second promise was surprising, but between the two of them, I dare say our new Dawn servants will be capable of anything. The future of Tuliolo is bright indeed. Yay! That was honestly just the best, the best scene. Best outcome. But where is Zoralja? Earlier in Yaktel, okay? Where is he? Where is the first promise? I'm so curious. Change is in the air, and it's all because of our little firebrand. <laughs> Every Ilmer father's daughter, that one. I'll be watching where you steer this nation, lass. With what time I've got left. Yes, time to go back to the blue eyed abode. Blue eyes abode. The love shack. Just kidding. <gasps> He's not going back. Oh my god. What? Our debonair? What? Wait, don't just play that music afterwards. <laughs> yes, we just witnessed a, an assassination. And then here are some, some really cheerful drums. <laughs> What? What the heck? Okay. As for... <laughs> I think this is a good uh, stopping point for episode 8. This is for YouTube. We will be continuing. Um, however, YouTube is going to have to be a little bit patient. But uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider liking, subscribing, and, and maybe uh, maybe leaving a comment on uh, what you think of the story so far. Um, if you want to say hi to me, you can find us on uh, twitch.tv forward slash midnababy. You can hang out with chat. Uh, we can talk about Final Fantasy XIV or whatever I happen to be playing at the moment. But for now... Uh, I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.